Crafters, this is Raquel with Paints and Glitter and today I'm coming to you with a very quick and easy tutorial using the Tonic Studios Designer's Choice Chai Caddy Die Set. I'm going to show you the pieces that you will need. I did make a live tutorial of this assembly, however I wanted to simplify it, make it uh, much easier for you to follow, and also show you a diff different version which you would have seen in the beginning of the video with the picture on the cover of the video. So to begin, I'm going to let you know what pieces to cut and how many you need. So of this piece here, you can cut three. This is going to create the sides of your box. I am creating it as a lantern. So as you can see, I've also used the inset die you do get four of those. Two of them cut out a solid piece and two cut out a decorative piece. The one that I chose to use is this one here. So using that together and running it multiple times, I managed to get this effect here. And yes, you can back that up with uh, vellum or pattern paper. On the sides where there is a tab, I've also added adhesive already. And I wanted to note here that this has a little notch on the top. So if you're going to use it, make sure that that notch edge always faces the same direction on all three panels. It's gonna be very important for you to have just a cohesive look on your project. The next piece that I used was the solid hexagon. So I used that to cut out two pieces of 110 pound cardstock that will create the base of the box. I've also used these two dies together here. Grouping those will give you this piece here which you will need for the lid of the box and you'll be cutting that out four times. I cut it out in a decorative paper as well as three base papers in 110 pound cardstock. You can do it either way. You don't have to use decorative paper for that, I just chose to do so. Using the combination of this triangle die that has these interesting little edges there, as well as that hexagon, will give you these two pieces here and you will need those for your lid. You can use the triangles that fall out of that center and go ahead and cut them out using the triangle die provided in the kit. This is going to yield a smaller triangle. You would just layer it right on top and it will give you two of those pieces. You will need, using this die, six pieces to decorate your box. That's going to help make the edge of the box look decorative and pretty and seal it off. Then using the other decorative pieces here, it's up to you how you finish your box. I did use this die here to cut out two more pieces for the lid in glitter cardstock. I've also used this piece here. It's a circle with a slit in the center. You'll need six of those. And the little decorative layer pieces that are included here, you can cut out. I've cut two in gold and two in pink like so. Then using this layer here, which is purely decorative, I've cut out three pieces in rose gold with that. And I've also used a coordinating layer piece, which cuts out these pieces. And I've also cut out three because they will layer on top. Now that we know how many pieces we need for this particular project, Let's go ahead and begin our assembly. If you want to, you can also follow the instructions included in your die set. I'm going to begin by folding and scoring all of my papers. So I will start here and all of the folds in this case are going to be mountain folds.
now using a hexagon you've cut out, go ahead and apply adhesive to that bottom. pieces facing up and now it's just a matter of lining up that this corner here with the corner on the paper so you've got that one piece ready to go just like so now you can apply the second one and you can remove the backing of the tab here so that this will stick to the one already there. Okay, once it's placed correctly there, you can join the sides here should also line up perfectly. Just apply a little bit of pressure and you can definitely use a bone folder to burnish that as well. Making sure it makes contact there. And now you have one side left to glue down. This little part here just make sure you fold it in press it in then remove the lining and it should match up perfectly as well and then just apply some gentle pressure making sure not to bend the paper and here you have your base I will now fold these pieces up a little bit just to allow me to place that piece right inside. I'm first going to apply glue to make sure that it does have a tacky place to land there. Some in the center. And this will create a nice lining. Okay. Then push it all the way to the bottom. And once you've got it placed correctly, go ahead and burnish it. It might take a couple of little tries there, but once you get it in there, you can press it down nice and firm, and it'll cover the bottom of that little lantern you've just created. Okay, now the top portion here can fold down like so.
that these are adhered together, make sure you take two of the pieces that were cut out of the center and set them aside for a moment because you're going to need them. But let's set this aside now that it's glued. And let's glue these two pieces that have the triangle cut out of the center, okay? And let's just layer those together, like so, nice and even. Once you're happy with your edges, grab some glue and place it on the edge here. This will sit right on top. So you just line up those corners. Make sure those are nice and even. I suppose you could use hot glue for this if you wanted to. But make sure your paper for the base is right at the edge so you get a nice even box. Okay, once you have that placed, now you can place this piece right on top. So you can just adhere this piece by placing glue on the edge, then lining this up with your box. So go right on top. You can go right on the edges. All you have to do is fold it first on the score line. So there should be six of these. Go ahead and fold these first. Okay, once those are folded nicely, Go ahead and grab the edge that has the two, uh, the concave edge there, and apply your glue, allowing that curved edge to be on the top. And just apply that right at the edge here. It should match up with the corner of your paper there. That will uncover that unsightly edge that's created by all those layers. Now that this portion is complete, let's set that aside and work on the lid. You have two triangles. Let's go ahead and layer those. And even out the sides, of course. And then take four of these circles, layer them one on top of the other, and just glue them together. center of one of these pieces. The circle in the middle should help you line those up. Okay, and that of course gets layered here, so you have a second layer. Just like that. Once 
once these are together, take the try is that I've used the included die to line it up. And you can definitely take a pencil and draw your line, draw some little lines here so that I can gauge where I want this. And then apply my adhesive. Now line up my triangle and that should be good enough. The two remaining circles will create the tab that will open this box and we will be decorating this also. First let's go ahead and glue these two pieces together. Just like so. And there's a score line right in the center, so that should make it a whole lot easier. This is going to create that tab. And we can decorate this tab by all means on the bottom portion, just like so. This will go here on the other side just to match it up. And then there's this portion that looks like the top half of a Christmas ornament or bauble. You can just adhere the dome side here to finish this piece off as well. Okay, apply a little bit of pressure so they can dry together. And this entire piece can now go here, right in the center. Because I cut this out in pink, I'm going to apply this as a layer just to decorate my handle there, but you don't have to do that. That's just entirely optional. I'm just going to place that on the side. That will look like so. I have also cut three pieces that look like this and a coordinating layer. So I'm going to layer those first and then place them on my lid. There's one right in the center. And then these three pieces will decorate this lid. So this will be one. Should have given it enough time for the triangle to dry underneath and this will now create the closure for our box. We should be able to match up that triangle to the lid and to close the box all we have to do is twirl. These are the dies that I've used here. They're the cinch and go poinsettia and that's going to go here to decorate my little box. Glue it. I think it's going to look really pretty. There's one piece. What you don't want to do is that you don't want to accidentally glue the lid shut. So make sure that you're applying adhesive only on this round portion there.
you can continue adding as much as you like, but I'm quite happy with it. I'm just going to continue um, adding a little more decoration to this and then I'll come back and show you the finished pictures. I hope that this video has been useful to you, that you've enjoyed it. Please leave a like and a comment and don't forget to subscribe and I hope as always that you can be inspired and be blessed and I thank you so much for watching. Bye bye!